So the Gambler 500 is in town this weekend and unfortunately not everybody made it to the event without some issues. Now luckily they're okay but we got to go get the rig up out of the canyon so we are taking the old school wrecker and we're going to head, oh well, it's like a two and a half hour drive up and go see if we can get it pulled out of there for them. All right, so we got fuel, we got water, we got some snacks and all that stuff, because it's gonna be 100 degrees today and this truck doesn't have air conditioning. Luckily, we do have a pin drop for where this vehicle's at, but the problem is uh, there's not gonna be any service up there. So I'm gonna show you a little trick with Google Maps where you can get offline maps just like any of those uh, subscription apps you could buy for free. So, oh, David's here by the way. Yeah. He's gonna hold the camera while I overlay my screen on here. You can see right here, uh, we have our GPS pin of where the vehicle is sitting. Not gonna have service up there. So if we go up to the upper right corner of the screen, click on the X, then right there where it pops up your little initial whatever, click on that, it'll open up the options. Scroll down to offline maps, click on that. Select your own map. You see what we just had on the screen just popped up here um, as a selected area. Now you can zoom out, zoom in farther, you can move around, all that stuff, but we want basically just right where we were. So uh, we'll select that, then hit download, download now. And it is downloading that map and it will have that whole section saved as an offline map that'll work with no phone service. You'll have your full GPS, uh, tracking all that stuff when you have no service. So yeah, um, a lot of those like subscription app, off-road map things, they have some features that Google Maps doesn't have, and a lot of them you don't really need, depending on what you're doing. Some you do, some you don't. If that's what you need, then yeah, those are the way to go. But if all you want is the main feature of them, which is the offline maps, it's free. Google Maps does the exact same thing. And one thing you can do is, uh, if you're gonna go in the woods to go camping, coiling, something like that, select the area you're gonna be in, save it to an offline map, and then if you get stuck, if you break down anything like that, you'll still be able to pin drop, do all the GPS stuff like that, and then when you get back to service, send that pin drop to someone like me to come get you out, and it will make both of our lives a whole lot easier. Now I know like influencers are supposed to influence people to spend money with companies, not save their money and not spend it with companies, which is probably another reason why I don't have any sponsors. But uh, number one, I never said I was good at this. Number two, uh, we're going to get a gambler rig and the whole spirit of the Gambler 500 is to have fun cheaply. So there's a way you can save some money and do things cheaper. So we are crawling up Sandium Pass now. Uh, this is a 5,000 foot pass and this truck is not happy about it. Uh, we're doing a little over 35 right now. About all we got and it's still even at that getting warm uh, because it's not happy about it. We just got more gas and now we're gonna go inside and get some extra coolant and stuff like that just in case because I'm feeling we might need it today. Got like a little hardware store in here, even RC cars. <laughs> Why is there RC cars? <laughs> Why are there so many of them? Huh. The batteries, but where's the coolant? This two. That's big. Okay. Back on the road. I don't know if my truck turns this sharp. Barely. Made it. Okay, now up the hill. Quite a ways it looks like. Not a road you want to fall off of. Not at all. That's a big tree. That's 
not a big tree. Oh yeah, that's a big organ tree. That's not a big tree. I'm from like the redwoods in California, the where, where the like you could drive through the trees. You, know, you come up here to Oregon, people talk about like big trees. It's yeah. like three foot across. You're like, ah, oh, it's like a tree. <laughs> it's not a big tree though. Is that? It's like a concrete like spillway almost. Uh -huh. Well, and there's a little campsite in here too. Well, then we gotta go check it out. <laughs> Yeah, there's a whole concrete spillway that goes right into the road. That's odd. Nice little spot to camp though. Culvert. Oh, look at a little chair up there. Whoa, check out this whole rock slab up here. The water comes down. Someone took a tarp and filled this in to make a pool. Look at that moss is slippery. Whoa, this is not. This is slick. If you if you yeah. slip, like you go all the way down. you're going all the way. This there's not a lot of traction right here, but my curiosity has got me. Nice. There's a little waterfall. You making it? This thing probably gets ripping when it's raining and the snow melts going. Okay, so that's what's up here. It's nice and cool in here too. Yeah. You know, aside from the, the bugs. Dude, this is the slip and slide from hell. Oh. <laughs> if you lose it on that moss, like... Going down it's fast. game over. <laughs> I don't even. This is the part where, like, oh, this maybe wasn't such a good idea. This. Let me know where the slick spots are, okay? Yeah. We'll do. Maybe if I go over to that tree. Can you cross it? <laughs> Need something to grab onto. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. I'm gonna walk on the tree. Yeah, I thought about that. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh cool, I left all my lights on and stuff. It's a chair with a hole cut in the center. Yep. I wonder what that's for. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> a room with a view. <laughs> okay, let's go find our thing that we're supposed to do. Wow, look at these rock cliffs. We are in some remote, remote area right now. Hey David, sh show the people what's out your window right now. It's a long, long, long way down. Oh, now 
walked a long way down on my side because <laughs> we just went to the other side of the ridge. We still have another mile to go. And it's still going up. Yeah. Okay, we are here. Um. <laughs> Let me go park in that little wide spot right there, then we'll, we'll walk. Assess the situation. Yeah. We have arrived. Oh, I see it, yeah. Right there. Holy crap! <laughs> Seriously? Oh, they went like right here. How did they go off on the one part that's not turning on this entire... They just kept turning. Uh, is that a trail down right here? Looks like, oh, I see from here. They came around that corner, got wide. See the track there and there? So they were coming down the hill this way and got wide, went right here, and they said it rolled three times to get down there. I love you took three steps and your head's already below the road level. We're at 4,500 feet elevation. Oh my goodness. Looks like someone tried to go down there and it just... They just slid down? Tree stopped me. Something fell off right there. Oh. Oh. Loose ground. Oh, you all right? Yeah. I'm gonna be so mad when the camera makes this look like you could just walk right up and down it. This is like, <laughs> I'm looking like straight up at the road. Oh, they said they wanted to save the roof rack and lights. And I was like, if it rolled, would it be messed up? And I'm like, there's not even a roof rack and lights on it. They're over there. Yeah, they said they tied it to a tree. Okay. Is that tight or no? Okay. Man, they got lucky. There's the roof rack. Look at that big stump right there they missed. Oh I wonder how secure that bumper's mounted. Looks like it was a nice peak too. They tied their stuff down good in the roof rack. Everything is still in it. box edition on it well yeah now that's accurate <laughs> okay so we got this bumper Let's see how well oh yeah they've got the tie-in plates and all that we could pull off this This had a fuel cell in it that broke loose and tried to go forward. So it has the factory fuel tank and then it has an aftermarket fuel cell. Look how close this fuel cell came to right into the back of the driver's head. Oh, yeah, that would have hurt. Yeah. 
Dude, she walked away from this. There's a full on floor jack in the back. That would have hurt. A spare tire over there. Like, that's why I'm not a fan of heavy objects being in the cab. Because I, I have rolled a truck and uh, it's amazing how much stuff flies around. So, here's the question. How do you think we should get it out? That's your job. No, it's yours today. I'm, just, I'm the cameraman. The fact that you're crawling up the hill shows how steep this is. Uh, it's like straight up and down. Okay. Here's the roof rack. That strap is a freaking champ, dude. There's one strap and it held everything in here. So, I think we'll hook onto this and winch it up out and then run the lines back down to that thing. You're crawling is what you're doing. No, it's not steep at all. <laughs> nah, no big deal. We just gotta get up there. I'm I'm six four, and from the ground, if I reach my hand straight out, I touch. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know who we need right now is the circus guys. Yes. They would have done that easily. They would be so handy in so many situations. Oh man. Whew. Now we gotta go back. <laughs> so. I'm just going to back the wrecker up right here and put the boom up and we'll grab that roof rack and drag it up. We'll just single line that thing up. But to pull that Jeep, like I don't have enough room to spin sideways and that's a hell of a side load off the edge. So I'm wondering if we go to those trees and over. I think we have to. I think so to stabilize the truck. Okay. All right. I'll back it down here. Good. Oh, oh boy. It's steep. <laughs> I'm actually kind of concerned about that amount of cable it's going to take. Uh I'm gonna try to get this out of here without breaking it. Yep. Pull it all up. Pull this up. Do you want me to do anything down here when you're pulling? Film? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coming. So far, so good. We lost a couple knives in a hot sauce packet. Okay, I'm gonna throw some more gear down. Are you clear? Here it comes. Did, 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 did what I think happen just happen?
Oh, I think Something you can. I, I think you can reach it, oh but it did. It it it, it caught on a branch. I think the steepness of the hill will help you get it, but. If I go to the uphill side of it and jump, I can grab it out of the <laughs> Yeah, like Tarzan it. Oh, that's going to go so well. <laughs> I can get that. Yeah. Where's the cable? Oh. Oh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was almost bad. We need that piece. Of yeah, it. I know. As I was saying, it went like 10 feet and then stopped. If we can get back to that one. Yeah. We can drag it up to here, tie it to that tree, and then leapfrog this cable back up the hill. Yeah. Maybe. That's a good one. Just wait till you see the video and it just looks like we're on like a flat surface. I'm gonna be so mad. which is the body and the axle, I'm kind of spreading the load. It's hot. Like, this is hot. Okay, this and here as an equalizer that this will then hook to like so. Cable, done. Yeah, that easy. Yep, it's, it's that simple. Well, yep. So this is the uphill. So we gotta come back here. Don't lose that. So. Okay, now let's see how far this goes back up the hill. You know the, the problem here? Hmm. There's nowhere else on the hill this thing's gonna sit still on its own. So if we if we pull it out of this spot and can't get it up the top, where is it gonna go? Down. Yeah. Exactly. Tree is just about right. Whew. So I gotta go get a tree saver to wrap around it. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad when this video does like garbage compared to a normal one. Yep, that's yeah. usually how it goes. Yeah, that's what'll happen. Oh no! Oh. You okay? I lost a little skin. Ooh. It's not bleeding yet though, so let's get done before it starts. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, the cable is hooked. We're gonna leave this strap hooked up until we get it up here, up here. So let's go back up, both of us. We gotta rig the top side of this. Yep. Above the road. And then pull. I really want a snatch block off that tree up there. I mean, I can single line it, but then my issue is 
of concern here is I have double line on this side fighting against a single line on that side and this line can create enough power to snap that line. If I got that full load over here and I snap that line, I go over. So I really want to double it back to this. Boom, so I've got a double line up there and then we're equal. And the other thing that could do us is once we get it up to here, um, we can anchor it to the body of the wrecker and then take that double line off of here to the Jeep and use that to pull it the rest of the way up onto the road and sit it here. Then we'll have to spin it around. But. So I've got to get up there with two tree savers, shackle and a snatch block and a cable. <laughs> Getting up, it was bad enough. This is... This is not... <laughs> um, so the cable has to come up over there. Yep. Alright, I'm going to try to find a path. I think, yeah. Yeah, I don't even... It's like a straight drop off over here. It's all a cliff. Yeah. down to me? I don't know if yeah. I can pull it over this way. Yeah. Thank you. 
It's not that heavy until you're tearing it up a cliff. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Now, don't drop anything. <laughs> it's going back to the bottom. Yeah. And it might go farther than the bottom. Well, I didn't say which bottom. <laughs> Like that? Yeah. Okay. Now this can go back down. But we can go down with this. You can go down whatever way is easiest. I have to go straight back down with this. easiest at this point. Here, cross that before I pull tight. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Okay. I guess maybe just sliding down it might be the fastest. set up perfectly. I'll go down there to film it. So stay, stay to that side so you're well clear. watching that tree up there, making sure there's no movement. My boom is sitting steady. If it starts moving side to side or over this way, I know that tree's got movement. David's watching down there. I'm gonna go check on it. We can't release tension and you shouldn't walk under stuff, but here we go. How's it looking? Good so far. Okay. Um, what? Doing what we want? Yeah, the... One issue is if the tire goes over the line that's holding it on the tree. I'm not sure if it's going to, but it's coming it close. Should, it should pull straight up. That's what I was thinking, Once yeah. It, it, it should, and it should pull straight up. Once it gets to where it looks like it's going to bind up, yell at me so I can stop and we can re-rig. Okay, now it's at the point where I can see it through the brush. Not well, but I can see it finally. Good or more? I think you're close enough. Okay, he's saying stop. Let's go check it out. We need to tie it off and re-rig? Probably, yeah. Okay. Close. Oh. I 
think there's some pressure on that? A lot. Okay, I'm gonna back off my winch and see if it holds it there. Okay. And watch the Jeep just fly down the hill. Yep, that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna start the truck and wind this in. I don't know how much slack is in it. I am, I am not doing good with this heat. My health issues, that's one thing they cause a major problem with this. I can't stand heat. My body just doesn't do it. And it's hot today. Hey David, so once I get that pulled up and it slacks that other line, yep. undo that chain, like I'll, I'll stop and all that and make sure. Undo that chain and let that strap that's hooked to it just stay hooked to it, to the Jeep. Okay. And then I'll continue pulling it up. All right, I got slack. What's that? I got slack. Slack? Yep. Okay, go ahead and just unhook that chain. It's all good now. And just leave the chain and that tree saver there at the tree's fine. All right, go ahead and back back off of that. And then I'll pull, hopefully we're going to the side enough now to clear that stump. God, I wish I had a remote for this truck. It'd make this so much safer and nicer.
go. a good one but we're not even close to done yet we got to get this thing on the sketchy ass road <laughs> i think it's 15 miles to pavement let's see how it goes slow and easy So we're now in a traffic jam with all these other rigs who came up. I told them we are not gonna pass each other on this. That is the reason this one's on the back of the truck. You have to back down. And the good thing is like, I'll flat out sit and drive down the middle of the road. Like you're not getting around me yeah. and I'm not going over on the edge around you. That is why we're in this situation. All right, now this idiot just backed off the edge. So we have to pull him up now. This is exactly why I said what I said. God damn it. the center of the road if you got a problem about that you can get the fuck out of the way i'm trying to help someone out here and do I a job trying. what's that i was trying i can get around you right now if you want go ahead okay see ya get a fucking attitude okay well get an attitude get fucked not my problem i said do not 
pull off the side and try to pass on this hill. It is a very bad one to try to do that. Back down to the intersection where we can get by each other safely. Yep. What do they do? Back off the side. Then I go to try to pull him out. Get him on his, so that would have been easy to do right there? No, this, he gets an attitude about this it. This is a perfect place, literally. Yeah. Okay, we just ran into the other the other part of the, the group down here. Super cool, super friendly, nice people. Backed up to a nice, safe spot, got out of the way. Thanks me for getting this out of here. Friendly as could be. That's like how it should go. Why that other guy has attitude, I don't know. Like my my experience with the gambler people has been that, what just happened. Friendly, nice people, good attitudes. Why that other dude's so uptight and chewing me out, whatever. So. We're gonna keep heading down the mountain. We gotta go meet the owner of this thing at the gas station at the bottom of the hill so we can get it back to him. And uh, hopefully we can enjoy this view from up here the whole way down, yeah. not down there. <laughs> Finally, the bottom. <laughs> now we just gotta get to the gas station. Okay, I see a pickup with a trailer. Hopefully that's them. So we got a uh, ice cream, and a bunch of cold drinks. The Jeep's loaded up to go head home. Uh, that wasn't smooth, fast, or easy, but it got done either way. Uh, important part: uh, she wasn't hurt in the wreck. Everybody's fine. So we're gonna drive three hours home now, and uh, I'm gonna take a nap for like anywhere from two to seven days. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.